Okay, welcome to lesson one from Game Battles Logo Making 101. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to get paint.net. All you have to do is uh, just go to Google and type in paint, just like paint.net, and search it. It's the first or second, just click the second result because it'll take you straight to the website. Here it'll show you everything, show you some cool features of it. What you want to do is click download right here. Make sure you have the .NET framework. If uh, you don't, you just click here and it'll, you can download it from there. Um, so you scroll down and it has these three different ones. You can choose any one of them. I just did it from download.com because I trust them the most. <clears throat> it's a really small installation. It's pretty straightforward. Just keep it in uh, all the default um, directories and you're good to go. Okay, as you see, I've got paint.net up here. Um, when you first start paint.net, it'll give you this blank white canvas, which is 800 width and 600 height. It's not the height and width that we need for game battles, but right now I'm just going to use it to sh demonstrate all the tools. Um, the first tool, first the toolbox is right here. If you don't have it for some reason, you can go to a uh, window and you can hide and show all of the uh, different windows that you have open on your screen. The top left tool, the rectangle select tool, is pretty much what it means. You select things with it, click this tool to move it, and you can move it around. Control Z to undo. Uh, the lasso select lets you cut things out, select things by cutting them out like, like that. And then you can uh, also move them around. The, uh, this tool you're, you're never really going to move, use. The uh, top right tool, as you can see, just moves things around after you've selected them. That's the zoom tool, it's pretty obvious. The circle tool, you select things using the circle. If you hold down shift and do it, it'll always make a perfect circle for selection. The uh, magic wand, this is a pretty interesting tool right here. It looks like a little magic wand. For example, let me uh, just real quick make a, uh, make a rectangle here. rectangles just mix up the colors what the magic wand does depending on the tolerance it uh, selects everything of that color in the selection so I'm gonna click on this orange box and it detects that all the pixels are orange and it selects it and that's really good for if you want to take out a white background from something you just click like that and see I can hit delete and it just leaves me with the basic images um, if you set the tolerance higher it accepts more into it like really high it'll pretty much just select it thinks orange and black are the same color pretty much because you set the tolerance so high you usually keep it around 50 the highest I ever take it's around 70 for like some things that just won't work right or the lowest I take it's about 40 or 30 somewhere around there so just keep it right there if you all uh, with the magic wand tool let me just draw another filled shape here another uh, green one if uh, you hold down shift, then click on the on the uh, green box, it'll select all the green in the entire picture, depending on the tolerance. And if you still don't understand tolerance here, let me show you a little bit more about what I mean. Let's take a uh, darker green. On, wrong tool. So now we have s the tolerance right now. When I click shift, it doesn't detect that that's green because the tolerance is set on 50, so it's just this light green. But say you want to, you have some grass or something in the background, and you want to take it all out, you can uh, adjust the tolerance to about 72, and it'll detect all the green. So I'll press Shift and click. Well, it just found everything there. You got to play around with it. Let's do that again. See, around 61, it shows all this green. So that way, I can select all the green in the picture and press the Delete key and delete it. That's pretty much how that works. The uh, Paint bucket tool is pretty much the opposite of the magic wand tool. Well, it's not the opposite, but it uh, you can uh, it also has a tolerance and it fills something. So like that, I just filled it with uh, green. If I have it at a really high tolerance, it'll fill almost everything. It's pretty much how the paint or how the magic wand works. The paintbrush tool is kind of useless. You can paint around with it, but it's really not good for uh, professional images or anything like that. Same with the pencil tool; it's just thinner. It's not really useful. 
clone stamp. That's pretty much how it works. You just clone stuff and stamp it. Uh, the text tool, you click it and then you click anywhere on the image and you can type anything and adjust it here at the top to any font and size you want. The only downside is once you've made a text and then you click out of it, you can't edit it anymore. It's always in the image. They might change that in future versions, but it's not that bad if you uh, work with layers, which I'll talk about in the next lesson. Um, the rectangle tool, all these tools are just pretty much just for drawing certain shapes. You can change the kinds of properties from up here at the top. Uh, here's the gradient tool. It doesn't have a tolerance. It just selects everything. So right now, I can drag it and make a huge gradient. It's really useful. I like it a lot. Use the gradient tool a lot. Um, color picker. You can set the primary color to any color that you see on the uh, on the image right now. So uh, just have it set to uh, to white right now. Uh, one more tool. Uh, recolor. You don't need to really worry about that. But uh, the line curve pretty much just draws a line. You can change the width of it to make it more more width or you can change the style so it ends in an arrow draw an arrow that's a very big arrow you can change uh, the fill of it there's so many different fills I'll talk about that in uh, the, uh, lesson 3 or lesson 4 so that's pretty much an overview of all the tools if I press the uh, new button here make a new image real fast I c you can uh, play around with it some more select things so that's an overview of all the tools.